Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For our today's lesson, we will discuss the concepts and steps in solving dihybrid cross problems. And just like in monohybrid cross, there are steps that we need to follow in order to identify the genotypic and phenotypic ratio of the offspring. So let's start by enumerating the steps in solving dihybrid test cross. There are five steps in solving dihybrid cross problem. First, we need to figure out the genotypes of the parents. Second, figure out what kind of gametes the parents can produce using foil method. Third, set up a Punnett square for your cross. One set of gametes go across the top and the other down the column. Fourth, fill in the offspring inside the table. And lastly, figure out the genotypic and phenotypic ratios for your predicted offspring. Since we already know the steps in solving dihybrid test cross, let's look at an example. In this dihybrid cross, there are two traits that we are crossing, shape and color of the seed. Shape of the seed is represented by letter R, uppercase R for round shaped seed and lowercase R for wrinkled shaped seed, while the other trait is represented by letter Y, uppercase Y for yellow color of the seed and lowercase y for green color of the seed. Based on the results of F1 generation, all of the offspring are heterozygous for round and yellow color of seed. When the first filial generation self-fertilize, following the idea of foil method, the gametes are the following. Round yellow seed, round green seed, wrinkled yellow seed, and wrinkled green seed. Using the Punnett square, place the gametes along the side of the Punnett square then start to determine the possible genotypes of the second filial generation. Based on the result of the Punnett square, the resulting genotypes are 9 round yellow seed, 3 round green seed, 3 wrinkled yellow seed, and 1 wrinkled green seed. And for the phenotypes, 9 round yellow seed, 3 round green seed, 3 wrinkled yellow seed, and 1 wrinkled green seed. Just to clearly show FOIL method, where F stands for first, O for outer, I for inner, and L for last. Let's see how it was applied in our previous example. Let's have first, which is green, uppercase R and Y, or round and yellow. Outer, which is yellow, uppercase R and lowercase Y, or round and green. Inner, which is red, lowercase R and uppercase Y, or wrinkled and yellow. Then last, which is color blue, lowercase R, and Y, or wrinkled and green. Using the FOIL method, we can easily determine the possible gametes that we will cross. So let's proceed with another sample problem. You have a pea plant with purple flowers and yellow seeds, with a genotype heterozygous purple flower and heterozygous yellow seed. You also have a pea plant with purple flowers and green seeds, with the genotype homozygous dominant purple flower and homozygous recessive green seed. Take note that purple flower is dominant over the white flower, and yellow seed is dominant over green seed. Using a dihybrid test cross, what are the genotype combinations of the offspring, and what are the possible flower and seed color phenotype of the offspring? Let's apply the steps in solving dihybrid test cross. Step 1. Identify the genotypes. Genotype 1 heterozygous purple flower, and heterozygous yellow seed. Genotype 2, homozygous dominant purple flower, and homozygous recessive green seed. Step 2, determine the gametes. This is done by combining the P and Y of each parent to represent sperm and egg. This process is similar to the FOIL method that you learn in mathematics. Therefore, for parent 1, we have round yellow, round green, wrinkled yellow, and wrinkled green. And for parent 2, all gametes are round green. Step 3. Perform the test cross by filling in the genotypes of the offspring. Step 4. Identify the genotype results. Based on the Punnett square, the following are the genotypes of our test cross. 4 homozygous purple flower and heterozygous yellow seed. 4 homozygous purple flower and green seed. 4 heterozygous purple flower and yellow seed. And lastly, 4 heterozygous purple flower and homozygous green seed. Therefore, the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. 
And for our last step, identify the pinotype results. Based on the Punnett square, the pinotypes are 8 purple flowered with yellow seeds and 8 purple flowered with green seeds. Therefore, the pinotypic ratio is 1 is to 1. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've learned something from our today's lesson. God bless and see you on our next video.